I've been asked if I would film my television collection, so here we go. The first one is Agent Carter, the complete first season. This runs at 336 minutes. And here is season two of Agent Carter, has a slightly longer runtime of 425 minutes. Next we have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the first season. This ran from 2013 to 2014, it's 938 minutes. Here's season two, which ran from 2014 to 2015 and had a runtime of 939 minutes. And here is the third season, which ran from 2015 to 2016, 942 minutes. This is season four, which ran from 2016 to 2017 with a runtime of 941 minutes. And season five, which ran from 2017 to 2018 with a runtime of 938 minutes. Next is Alcatraz, which only ran for one season, with a runtime of 566 minutes. So now we're on to American Horror Story, the complete first season, which had a runtime of 520 minutes. Next is season two, with a runtime of 531 minutes, and this one comprises of just 13 episodes. Next is season three, titled Coven. This has a runtime of 570 minutes. Season 4, titled Freak Show, has a runtime of 649 minutes. Season 5 of American Horror Story, titled Hotel, has a runtime of 614 minutes. Season 6, titled Roanoke, has a runtime of 398 minutes. Season 7, titled Cult, has a runtime of 507 minutes. Season 8, titled Apocalypse, has a runtime of 429 minutes. The next television show is Anne with an E, Season 1, with a runtime of 339 minutes. Next is Season 2, with a slightly longer runtime of 500 minutes. And Season 3, with exactly the same runtime of 500 minutes. Next is Arrow, the complete first season, which ran from 2012 to 2013 with a runtime of 972 minutes. Next is season two, which ran from 2013 to 2014 with a runtime of 1,013 minutes. Season three, which ran from 2014 to 2015, runtime 976 minutes. Season four, which ran from 2015 to 2016 with a runtime of 1,018 minutes. Season 5, which ran from 2016 to 2017 with a runtime of 1,184 minutes. Season 6, which ran from 2017 to 2018 with a runtime of 1,099 minutes. Season 7, which ran from 2018 to 2019 with a runtime of 1,010 minutes. And the final season, season 8, which ran from 2019 to 2020 with a runtime of 426 minutes. Next is the complete collection of the 18 release through Fabulous Films. This show ran from 1983 to 1987, comprised of five seasons with a runtime of 4,690 minutes. Next is The Boys, season 1, which aired in 2019, has a runtime of 472 minutes. Next is season two, which aired in 2020 with a runtime of 494 minutes. Next is Better Call Saul from 2015. This is season one with a runtime of 470 minutes. Season two next from 2016. This one has a slightly shorter runtime of 459 minutes. Season three from 2017 has a runtime of 499 minutes. Season 4 from 2018 has a runtime of 491 minutes. I still need to get Season 5. Next is Black Cells, Seasons 1, 2 and 3, which ran from 2014 to 2016. Three seasons, 11 discs. And Black Cells, the final season, Season 4 from 2017, runtime 594 minutes. Next is The Big Bang Theory, Season 1, with a runtime of 355 minutes. Season 2 with a runtime of 558 minutes. Season 3 with a runtime of 529 minutes. 
season four, which has a runtime of 501 minutes. Season five with a runtime of 498 minutes. Season six with a runtime of 528 minutes. Season seven, which has a runtime of 486 minutes. Season eight with a runtime of 458 minutes. Season nine with a runtime of 478 minutes. At the moment, I am missing season 10, so we carry on with season 11, which has a runtime of 487 minutes. And finally, season 12 with a runtime of 484 minutes. Next is Black Lightning. Season 1 has a runtime of 544 minutes, it's from 2018. Next is Blacklist, the first three seasons, which ran from 2013 to 2016, 2,893 minutes. And season four, which ran from 2016 to 2017, 947 minutes. Next is Bates Motel, seasons one, two, and three, and they have a combined runtime of 1,235 minutes, ran from 2013 to 2014. I am missing seasons four and five. Next is Band of Brothers from 2001. This TV miniseries has a runtime of 624 minutes. Next is Breaking Bad, the complete series, which ran for six seasons from 2008 to 2013 with a runtime of 2,703 minutes. Next is The Crown, season one from 2016 with a runtime of 601 minutes. And The Crown, season two from 2017 with a runtime of 607 minutes. Next is Continuum Season 1 from 2012 with a runtime of 440 minutes. And Season 2 from 2013 with a runtime of 574 minutes. And Season 3 from 2014 with a runtime of 570 minutes. I am missing Season 4. This is Castle Rock, the complete first season from 2018 with a runtime of 500 minutes. Next is Downton Abbey, the complete collection, comprising of six seasons and all the Christmas specials, which ran from 2010 to 2015. Total run times 2,542 minutes. Next is Dexter, season one. This is from 2006, with a runtime of 576 minutes. Season two from 2007, with a runtime of 636 minutes. Season three from 2008, with a runtime of 600 minutes. Season 4 from 2009 with a runtime of 633 minutes. Season 5 from 2010 with a runtime of 617 minutes. Season 6 from 2011 with a runtime of 617 minutes. Season 7 from 2012 with a runtime of 671 minutes. And Season 8, no longer the final season, it's from 2013 with a runtime of 635 minutes. Dracula, the BBC TV miniseries from 2020, has a runtime of 270 minutes. Daredevil, the first series from 2015, has a runtime of 702 minutes. And the second season from 2016 has a runtime of 702 minutes. Doctor Who, season 10, which ran from 1972 to 1973, has a runtime of 624 minutes. Doctor Who Season 12, which ran from 1974 to 1975, a runtime of 480 minutes. Doctor Who Season 18, which ran from 1980 to 1981, with a runtime of 700 minutes. Doctor Who Season 19, from 1982, with a runtime of 640 minutes. Doctor Who Season 23, from 1986, with a runtime of 350 minutes. Doctor Who, the first series from 2005 with a runtime of 567 minutes. Doctor Who, the complete second series from 2006 with a runtime of 660 minutes. Doctor Who, the complete third series from 2007 with a runtime of 585 minutes. Doctor Who, the complete fourth series from 2008 with a runtime of 681 minutes. Doctor Who, the complete fifth series from 2010 with a runtime of 597 minutes. Doctor Who, the complete sixth series from 2010 to 2011 with a runtime of 655 minutes. Doctor Who, the complete seventh series from 2011 to 2013 with a runtime of 697 minutes. Doctor Who, the complete specials from 2008 and 2009 
run time of 314 minutes. Doctor Who, the 10 Christmas specials from 2005 to 2014, 685 minutes. Doctor Who, the time of the Doctor, Christmas specials, 2010 to 2013, run time of 240 minutes. Doctor Who, Dark Water and Death in Heaven 3D from 2014, run time of 103 minutes. Doctor Who, Resolution from 2019 with a run time of 60 minutes. Next is Discovery of Witches from 2018, Season 1, run time of 345 minutes. And Season 2 from 2019 with a run time of 439 minutes. Next is Deadwood, the Ultimate Collection, which comprises of three seasons, which ran from 2004 to 2006 with a run time of 1,896 minutes. Next is Derek Season 1, which has a run time of 136 minutes. Next is Dollhouse Season 2 from 2010 with a run time of 546 minutes. Next I have Doom Patrol Season 1 from 2019 with a run time of 774 minutes. And Season 2 from 2020 with a run time of 461 minutes. Next is Eureka. When it aired, it was called Tang Called Eureka. Five seasons ran from 2006 to 2012. Total run times 3,363 minutes. Next is Flash Season 1, which ran from 2014 to 2015, 981 minutes. Season 2 from 2015 to 2016, with a runtime of 1,021 minutes. Season 3 from 2016 to 2017, runtime 976 minutes. Season 4, which ran from 2017 to 2018, with a runtime of 1,096 minutes. Season 5, which ran from 2018 to 2019, with a runtime of 1,012 minutes. And Season 6, which ran from 2019 to 2020, with a runtime of 803 minutes. Next is Firefly from 2002, with a runtime of 653 minutes. Next is Fringe, the complete series box set, which comprises of five seasons, which ran from 2008 through to 2013, with a total runtime of 4,490 minutes. Next is Falling Skies, season one from 2011. This has a runtime of 450 minutes. Here's season two from 2012, with a runtime of 450 minutes. Season three from 2013, with a runtime of 450 minutes. Season 4 from 2014 with a runtime of 528 minutes. And Season 5 from 2015 with a runtime of 424 minutes. Here's Fargo Season 1 from 2014 with a runtime of 541 minutes. And this is Friends, the complete series, which has 10 seasons, which ran from 1994 to 2004 with a runtime of 5,321 minutes. And this is Father Brown series 1 to 8, which ran from 2013 to 2020 with a runtime of 5,400 minutes. On to Game of Thrones now. We have season 1 from 2011 with a runtime of 561 minutes. Season 2 from 2012 with a runtime of 544 minutes. Season 3 from 2013 with a runtime of 556 minutes. Season 4 from 2014 with a runtime of 546 minutes. Season 5 from 2015 with a runtime of 559 minutes. Season 6 from 2016 with a runtime of 558 minutes. Season 7 from 2017 with a runtime of 502 minutes. And Season 8 from 2019 with a runtime of 424 minutes. Next is Laugh It Up Fuzzball Family Guy Trilogy, which ran from 2007 to 2010 with a runtime of 152 minutes. Next is The Good Place Season 1, which ran from 2016 to 17 with a runtime of 321 minutes. Season 2 from 2017 to 18 with a runtime of 302 minutes. Season 3, which ran from 2018 to 19, runtime 282 minutes. And Season 4, which ran from 2019 to 20 with a runtime of 300 minutes. Next is Gotham Season 1, which ran from 2014 to 15 with a runtime of 967 minutes. Season 2, which ran from 2015 to 16 with a runtime of 961 minutes. Season 3, which ran from 2016 to 17 with a runtime of 968 minutes. 
season four, which ran from 2017 to 18 with a runtime of 966 minutes, and the fifth and final season from 2019 with a runtime of 528 minutes. And next is House MD, the complete series comprising of eight seasons, which ran from 2004 through to 2012 with a total runtime of 7,820 minutes. Next is Heroes, the four seasons box set, which ran from 2006 through to 2010 with a runtime of 3,376 minutes. Next is House of Cards, seasons 1 to 4, which ran from 2013 to 2016 with a total runtime of 2,674 minutes. Then season 5 from 2017 with a runtime of 683 minutes. And then season 6 from 2018 with a runtime of 440 minutes. Next is Hannibal, seasons 1, 2 and 3, which ran from 2013 to 2015 with a runtime of 1,676 minutes. Then his Dark Material Season 1 from 2019 with a runtime of 442 minutes. And Season 2 from 2020 with a runtime of 325 minutes. Next is The Incredible Hulk, the complete series box set, which contains five seasons and ran from 1977 through to 1982 and has a runtime of 4,118 minutes. Next is Jack Ryan Season 2 from 2019 with a runtime of 369 minutes. Then Jessica Jones, season one from 2015 with a runtime of 667 minutes. And then Knight Rider, the complete series, which contains four seasons. It ran from 1982 to 1986 with a runtime of 4,399 minutes. Next is Lost, the complete collection containing six seasons, which ran from 2004 to 2010 with a runtime of 5,074 minutes. Next is Luther, Season 1 from 2010 with a runtime of 350 minutes. Then Season 2 from 2011 with a runtime of 232 minutes. Season 3 from 2013, runtime 234 minutes. Season 4 from 2015 with a runtime of 117 minutes. And Season 5 from 2019 with a runtime of 227 minutes. Next is Lovecraft Country, Season 1 from 2020 with a runtime of 590 minutes. Next is Luke Cage, Season 1 from 2016 with a runtime of 665 minutes. Then Lost in Space, Season 1 from 2018 with a runtime of 551 minutes. Next is Magnum, the complete collection which contains 8 seasons. This show ran from 1980 to 1988 and has a runtime of 7,813 minutes. Next is Mad Men, the box set seasons 1 to 6, which spanned from 2007 to 2013, has a runtime of 3,676 minutes. I believe I am missing season 7. Next is Married Single Other from 2009, season 1, runtime 274 minutes. Then Mr. Robot, season 1 from 2015, runtime 483 minutes. Season 2 from 2016, runtime 593 minutes. Season 3 from 2017, runtime 492 minutes. I need season 4. Next is Misfits, season 1 from 2009, runtime 274 minutes. Season 2 from 2010, runtime 332 minutes. Season 3 from 2011, runtime 368 minutes. Season 4 from 2012, runtime 366 minutes. And season 5 from 2013, runtime 371 minutes. Next is May Grey, the complete collection, which ran from 2016 to 2017, runtime 350 minutes. Next is Newsroom, complete collection containing three seasons, ran from 2012 to 2014, runtime 1,427 minutes. Next is The Name of the Rose, a TV miniseries from 2019 with a runtime of 413 minutes. Next is The 100, season 1 from 2014, runtime 572 minutes. The next show is Primeval, and the first three seasons are actually DVDs. I've had custom-made covers, so they would fit on the shelves of the Blu-rays. They have a runtime combined of 17 hours and 35 minutes. So season four Blu-ray is from 2011, has a runtime of 312 minutes. And season five is from 2011 and has a runtime of 269 minutes. 
Next is Pennyworth Season 1. I do have Season 2 somewhere. This is from 2019 with a runtime of 559 minutes. Next is Peaky Blinders Box Set Seasons 1 to 4, which ran from 2013 to 2017 with a combined runtime of 1,370 minutes. And Peaky Blinders Season 5 from 2019 with a runtime of 349 minutes. The Pacific from 2010, a mini-series with a runtime of 534 minutes. There's Season 2 of Pennyworth from 2020 to 2021 with a runtime of 542 minutes. And then Picard Season 1 from 2020 with a runtime of 489 minutes. Next is Person of Interest Season 1 from 2011 to 2012 with a runtime of 1012 minutes. Season 2 from 2012 to 13 with a runtime of 964 minutes. And season 3 from 2013 to 14 with a runtime of 1012 minutes. I need season 4 and 5. Next is Penny Dreadful, the complete box set, containing three seasons from 2014 to 2016, runtime 1454 minutes. Next is Quantum Leap, the complete box set, containing five seasons, which ran from 1989 to 1993, runtime is 4572 minutes. Next is Red Dwarf Seasons 1 to 8 in a box set from 1988 through to 1999 with a runtime of 1,466 minutes. Then they're a little bit mixed up. I have first Red Dwarf Season 10 from 2012, runtime 178 minutes. Then I have Back to Earth, which is Season 9 from 2009, runtime of 70 minutes. And then I have Promised Land, which is Season 13 from 2020 with a runtime of 80 minutes. So I'm missing a couple in between. Next is The Return, Season 1 and 2 from 2012 to 2015 with a runtime of 860 minutes. Then on to Ripper Street Season 1 which ran from 2012 to 13 with a runtime of 463 minutes. Season 2 which ran from 2013 with a runtime of 468 minutes. Season 3 from 2014 with a runtime of 472 minutes. Season 4 from 2015 with a runtime of 416 minutes. And Season 5 from 2016 with a runtime of 355 minutes. Next is the $6 million Man Complete Box Set, which ran from 1973 through to 1994, has a runtime of 6,000 minutes. Should have been 6 million, I think. Next is Sliders, a complete series box set containing five seasons, which ran from 1995 to 2000, runtime 3,780 minutes. Next is Enterprise Season 1 for 2001 to 2, with a runtime 1,149 minutes. Then the Secret Agent TV miniseries from 2016, with a runtime 170 minutes. Supergirl Season 1 from 2015 to 16, with a runtime of 877 minutes. Season 2, which ran from 2016 to 17 with a runtime of 931 minutes. Season 3, from 2017 to 18 with a runtime of 1,100 minutes. Then Season 4, which ran from 2018 to 19 with a runtime of 1,011 minutes. And then Season 5, which ran from 2019 to 20 with a runtime of 804 minutes. Next is The Stand, a TV mini series from 1994 with a runtime of 359 minutes. And we have Sons of Anarchy Season 1 from 2008 with a runtime of 578 minutes. Then Season 2 from 2009 with a runtime of 555 minutes. Season 3 from 2010 with a runtime of 616 minutes. Then Season 4 from 2011 with a runtime of 632 minutes. Season 5 from 2012 with a runtime of 677 minutes. Season 6 from 2013 with a runtime of 794 minutes and Season 7 from 2014 with a runtime of 1,002 minutes. Next is Shadowhunters Multiple Instruments Season 1 from 2016 with a runtime of 548 minutes, Season 2 from 2017 runtime 900 minutes and Season 3 2018 to 19 runtime 990 minutes. Next is Sherlock Season 1 from 2010 with a runtime of 266 minutes. Then Season 2 from 2012 with a runtime of 266 minutes. Then Season 3 from 2014 with a runtime of 261 minutes. 
then season four from 2017 with a runtime of 266 minutes. Then Sherlock the Abominable Bride from 2016 with a runtime of 93 minutes. Next we have Swamp Thing season one from 2019 with a runtime of 489 minutes. Then Torchwood, the complete box set containing four seasons from 2006 to 2011, runtime 2063 minutes. Then Timeless, the box set containing seasons 1 and 2 from 2016 to 2018 with a runtime of 1,200 minutes. Next is The Terror, Season 1 from 2018 with a runtime of 474 minutes. Next is True Detective, Season 1 from 2014 with a runtime of 480 minutes. Then Season 2 from 2015 with a runtime of 503 minutes. And Season 3 from 2018 to 19 with a runtime of 488 minutes. Next is Terminator, Sarah Connor Chronicles, Season 1 and 2 box set from 2008 to 2009 with a runtime 1,367 minutes. Then 12 Monkeys, Season 1 from 2015 with a runtime of 559 minutes. Season 2 from 2016 with a runtime of 557 minutes. Season 3 from 2017 with a runtime of 436 minutes. And season 4 from 2018 with a runtime of 482 minutes. Next is The Umbrella Academy season 1 from 2019 with a runtime of 8 hours and 59 minutes. Then Van Helsing season 1 from 2016 with a runtime of 558 minutes. Season 2 from 2017 to 18 with a runtime of 534 minutes. Season 3 from 2018 with a runtime of 557 minutes. And season 4 with a runtime of 515 minutes. Five minutes from 2019. Then we have Victoria, seasons one and two from 2016 to 17 with a runtime of 990 minutes, and season three from 2019 with a runtime of 365 minutes. I have the Xbox, which I've customized to fit all 11 seasons, ran from 1993 to 2018, 9,767 minutes. We have the Wire. This has five seasons, ran from 2002 to 2008, 3,563 minutes. Then we have Westworld from 2016, first season, 618 minutes. Season 2, it's from 2018, runtime of 636 minutes. Season 3 is from 2020, has a runtime of 492 minutes. This is Watchmen, the miniseries from 2019 with a runtime of 526 minutes. Next is Warehouse 13, five seasons, ran from 2009 to 2014, runtime 2,735 minutes. Documentaries now, we have Story of Film, miniseries from 2011, runtime of 915 minutes. Next is Back in Time from 2015, this had a runtime of 92 minutes. Life After the Navigator from 2020, runtime of 91 minutes. Air Racers 3D from 2012, runtime of 40 minutes. Idiot Abroad Part 1 from 2010, runtime 347 minutes. Part 2 from 2011 is 345 minutes. And Part 3 is from 2012 with a runtime of 135 minutes. Billy Connolly, Made in Scotland from 2018, runtime 120 minutes. Kevin Hart, I'm a Grown Little Man from 2009, 72 minutes. Bears IMAX from 1999, runtime 40 minutes. Hurricane on the Bayou IMAX from 2007, runtime 42 minutes. Wild Deep Seven Continents from 2013, 167 minutes. Wolves IMAX from 1999, 40 minutes. David Attenborough 3D Collection, 2012 to 2013, runtime 600 minutes. Danger Close from 2017, runtime 86 minutes. Lost World Life in the Balance from 2001, runtime 40 minutes. 
Kronos IMAX from 1985, runtime 45 minutes. The Wonders Collection from 2010 to 2011, runtime 528 minutes. Grand Canyon Adventure River at Risk from 2008, runtime 40 minutes. Planet Earth and Life Box Set from 2006 to 2009, runtime 1150 minutes. Blue Planet 2 from 2017, runtime 400 minutes. Planet Earth 2 from 2016, runtime 350 minutes. Frozen Planet from 2011, runtime 405 minutes. Jean Michel Cousteau's film trilogy from 2003 to 2008, runtime 125 minutes.